Lab and this is my seventh experiment in Unix and Lab, uh, Unix and Linux Lab. That is about system calls in Unix. So here we are going to uh, do the following operations using system calls like open, read, write, else, and close. So we'll use, uh, we'll do this using C programming. So as you can see, first I have included some of the header files like fc, ntl, system, string, studio, studio dot h, and all those things. Then I am going to the main class. Here I have like uh, I have initialized some variables like int f t is equals to f t choice equals to zero, i is equals to zero, and all those things. And then I have a variable of type long, and I have created two char arrays, character arrays like buffer and message, and I have initialized the value as hundred. Now I am going to I am displaying <coughs> I am displaying uh, like enter the choice of mode you want to open the file already created the file and if you want to read the read only you want to write only and if you want to do both read and write so you can just go to scan app it's actually file dot add type that that also is that so first is for read only and second is for write only and the third one is for read write both and we'll take is that scan app percentage d the input that you give and it's the name is given as and mode and if the mode is one we'll just give us we'll go for the open system call like this is the syntax fd is equals to open the file name and the location and what's it uh, actually the location and the file name the file name is for file dot that and then what you want to do we want to do only read only so that's it and if you want to go to mode 2 that is for write only you just go to file dot that and only write only and then if it is not both then we'll go for like else read write both for both read and write so we'll just go here yeah and while the choice is not equals to 4 we'll display i is equals to 0 and if you want to do both read and write, we'll go inside this loop and we'll show print and print your choice. One for write to the file, two for read to the file, and add three for C for the pointer that is placing a pointer to a particular point, and then both for close and exit. So we'll take that input also from scan app, percentage and choice, and it depends on the choice what the user gives. So we'll give a switch case like switch choice. If it is one, we'll write into that file. It's so it is print and enter a message. CH is equals to get cap and CH is equals to not null, uh, like CH is equals to terminal. So if CH is not equals to the next line, so we'll just print the get cap and we'll put the value for message, like message of i is equals to CH. Same, like, like the message will be taken and stored in CH and it will be displayed out. For second case, is for the LC one. Second is for read from the file. So reading is done from the LC1. So we'll just show as, as, as LC, then the file location, uh, number, like from the beginning or the end. Then we want to display from which bytes. So we'll show the enter the number of bytes to read. And then you can take it as an input as size. Then we'll just read as buffer size. And we'll print up the read data. The read data is buffer. And we'll close it using close empty. Then we have the case three for number of bytes to seek like to seek from the current to seek from the end or seek byte offset so we'll take it from the user also and we'll give us as so if seek is equal to one we'll just go for lc current and then it is seek is equal to two we'll go to the seek end the last value so this is the basic syntax for that and seek is equal to fd file descriptor comma c and which location that is the beginning or the end and if you want to set the byte offset can do that using lc fd comma seek comma c comma set so i'll just show you the output for this also so this is the x plus seven dot smash dot art so if i want to do both read and write you can go like press one for read to file enter the message which is RAG. Now, my message has been successfully written using the car ch thing. The array it went to the array, the character array. And now, if I want to go to read from the file, 
so the number of bytes I want to read is 4 so it's showing that now if I want to place a seek pointer enter the number of bytes to seek I'm going to give 3 so okay. it's going from the end current one or the thing so it will go like this and then if I want to write at that thing I guess back 1 so that has also been successfully written so this was all about experiment 7 that is system calls so thank you for watching